So I have a lot of different options on how I can make badges if I want. I'm going to start with just making a badge built in using the Canva badge editor that comes with Badger. So in my course, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click on badges. This will pull up my Badger interface. And I have buttons up here at the top. And if I go to setup, this shows me all the badges I have. And from here, I can tell it to add a badge. So I'm going to click add a badge and then tap my three dots and say create a new badge. Now from here, I give my badge a name, and there's an option here that says design a badge. So if I've already made one, I can just drag and drop it here. If I wanna make my own, there's a built-in badge designer where I could go in and pick and choose from a list of icons, or I could search for icons here. Let's see if there's maybe a computer one. And then I could change the shape of that badge. Maybe this will be a round badge. And then I could go ahead and customize any one of these to change the colors and the icons and how big or small things are. And so I could use this tool to create some really simple badges. Um, and again, whenever I've got everything set up the way I like, I go through, put my information together, and then I tell it to create that badge. Now, if I don't want to use the built-in tools and I wanted to upload my own image instead, then what I need to do is I need to go ahead and create that. And one of the easiest tools to use to create that is to use something called Canva. And we have Canva in our district built in uh, to the waffle. And so if I go in here and click on Canva, not Canvas, but Canva, this will open up Canva's homepage. It looks like this. And there's a whole bunch of templates built in. And I can simply search for badge and hit return. And there is a whole series of different badges that are already in here. And again, these are templates. So all I have to do is find a style I like, and I can change the font, the size, the color, um, text, anything I want to make it whatever I like. So maybe I'm going to choose this badge here. In this case, maybe I like the image, but if not, I could swap it in and out. I can simply click on anything to delete it or to replace it. And if I wanted to change my text, Maybe I, this is a podcast expert, uh, an expert podcaster, maybe. So I will go ahead and put expert podcaster, and that's the badge. And then once I've got it set up, looking the way I want, all I have to do is hit share. And I tell it to download. Now in the download option, it makes me choose a file type um, for... Uh, most graphics, I would tell you to use PNG. This gives you transparent backgrounds if you choose to do that, which means that it won't have a, a white box around it. And I tell it to download. It downloads this file onto my computer. Here it is. Notice the transparent background. And now if I go back into Canvas, I can tell it to upload a new image. And I can simply choose that new badge that I made in Canva, and here it is, and then I could call this my expert podcaster badge and all the requirements that go along with it, and then tell it to create that badge. Now you can also search Google for the word badges. Uh, you can find Google images that already exist, that somebody else has already created. Uh, there's badge libraries out there that you might be able to find some that have been created that you like, or I'm sure your DTS would love to help you make a badge if you had some cool ideas on what you wanted. That's all there is to making badges.